All right, so here's the last one, the same kind of feeling here. Find the uh, derivatives and the function value at one, and is there a min or max? Uh, so hopefully you're getting the gist here, is that my function value, or f of one, or t of one, is just gonna be here. Um, there's no uh, linear term, so therefore their first derivative is gonna equal zero. And there's no squared term, so there's, um, the second derivative is also going to be zero. But let's um, verify that. So uh, t of 1 is just going to be equal to 3 because these three terms are all going to go to 0. Let's find t prime of x. The constant term will go away. This will be minus 12x minus 1 squared minus 4x minus 1 cubed plus 15x minus 1 to the fourth t prime of 1, well, all these terms go to 0, so therefore that's good. Uh, t prime prime of x is going to be negative 24x minus 1 minus 12x minus 1 squared plus 60x minus 1 cubed. t prime prime of 1 is 0, 0, and 0, so this is 0. Uh, is there a critical point at x equals 1? Yes since uh, f prime of one equals zero, there is a critical point at x equals one. Uh, is there a min or max? Uh, well, actually we don't know because the second derivative is equal to zero. Okay. We don't know there is a minimum or a maximum at x equals 1 since f prime of 1 equals f prime prime of 1 which equals 0. Uh, not enough information to make a conclusion. Um, what could this be? Um, this is probably um, something that could look uh, like a cubic, right? It could be something that, but at x equals one, so it could be something along those lines like that. So uh, x equals one could be a point of inflection.